Welcome to another tutorial for the TI 30X Plus MathPrint Calculator. In this session, we see how to use function definitions, formulas, and lists to simulate compound interest loans. Buying a house is one of the most significant financial investments that any one of us can make. So understanding how interest is calculated, accumulated, and potentially reduced can save many thousands of dollars. Imagine you have just purchased a house and signed up for a $300,000 loan. The interest is quoted as 6% per annum. Per annum means per year. The reality is that banks typically compound interest monthly, which means the actual interest rate is slightly higher than that amount quoted. In fact, some institutions compound fortnightly, which is even higher again. For the purpose of this tutorial, we assume that the 6% interest rate is compounded monthly. The lists on the calculator are a great way to simulate a loan. List 1 will contain the opening balance. The first thing that happens is the bank applies the interest. We will store the interest in list 2. To apply the interest automatically, we can use a formula. Our quoted rate is 6%. So the monthly interest is 6% over 12 times the opening balance. We can store the closing monthly balance in list 3. Again, we'll use a formula. The closing balance is equal to the opening balance located in list 1 plus the interest in list 2 minus our monthly repayment of $2,500. The closing monthly balance becomes next month's opening balance, so I can enter that amount in list 1. Notice as soon as this amount is entered, the formulas in list 2 and list 3 are automatically applied. So we can enter the next month's opening balance, and so on for 12 months. So after 12 months, our closing balance is $287,664. We paid out $30,000 in repayments, but only reduced the loan by just over $12,000. So what happened to the rest of the money? We can check the total interest by adding up all the values in list 2. And so, we account for the difference. The lists represent a great way of exploring what happens to all the money. But what if you're just interested in the closing balance at any point in time? For that, we have a formula. The first section accounts for the interest. The second section accounts for the reduction due to the loan repayments. It's still a lot to calculate, so storing the formula can help reduce the likelihood of making a mistake. To store a function in the calculator, press the table key and select Add or Edit. The function is defined in terms of x. For our purposes, that's the n in the formula.
From here, I can generate a table for the entire loan, starting at zero. We can make a step value of 12, representing 12 monthly payments, or one year. We can get the calculator to automatically generate the entire table for the loan. Or you could just type in selected values. I'll select Auto. Now we can scroll through the loan. Finally, we can exit from the table and calculate a specific quantity. That's all for this tutorial. If you would like to see how to do more calculations on the TI-30X Plus MathPrint calculator, be sure to leave a comment below. Subscribe to our YouTube channel to keep up to date as more tutorials are added to this series. Thanks for watching.